everyone, it's Veronica from Blue Star Crochet. In today's quick video tutorial, I would like to show you how to work this beautiful mini Christmas mitten ornament that you can use to decorate your tree or um, create a few of them for a garland or a festive bunting. Um, so for um, this tutorial, I used um, Chanel yarn which is, um, I'm using this one from Hobby, um, Honey Bunny. Uh, I've got a red one and I've also got a white one. And you will also need a six millimeter crochet hook um, and a pair of scissors to obviously uh, fasten off. So um, let's get started. So we're going to start with red and we're going to work from the top of the mitten. So um, let's get started. Um, we are going to be working into a magic circle. So um, because the Chanel yarn is a little bit too kind of grippy and sticky, um, I would recommend um, using the classic magic circle rather than the adjustable ring because it's quite hard to pull it um, where it's um, tight enough. So to start, um, I'm going to use the magic circle where you kind of chain four and slip stitch into the first stitch. So first thing we need to create is a, a slip knot. So I'm going to put the loop over my fingers and I'm going to cross it over and grab the tail end and pull it through. Okay, so that's your slip knot, which I'm going to place onto the hook. And like I said, we're going to create the magic circle, which is chain four. So that's one, two, three, four. And now I'm going to slip stitch back into the first stitch over here. Like this. And that creates the circle that we're going to be working into okay now before we start i'm going to advise you to work over your ends um because the chenille yarn is very um grippy um i only basically just worked over the ends and they're fine and um, they're not going to come out so to start the first round we're just going to work 12 half double crochet into the magic circle so to start the first one i'm going to chain two and this chain two is going to count as my first half double crochet. Okay, so that's the one. And now I need 11 more half double crochets into the magic ring. And as you can see, I'm holding a tail end to be worked over as well. So half double crochet is yarn over, insert the hook through the magic ring, yarn over and pull up a loop. So we've got three loops on a hook. And I'm going to yarn over and pull through all three loops on a hook. So that's half double crochet. Now I've got two, so I need 10 more half double crochet worked into my magic circle. And as you can see, I'm working over the tail end as well. So we kind of um, get a little bit more secure, but to be honest, you can just tuck the ends in. <laughs> Nobody's gonna know. Nobody's going to check your Christmas tree. Um, I lost count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I need four more. So that's nine, 10, 11, and 12. Okay, so we've got 12 half double crochet into the circle. And now what I'm going to do is find my beginning two chain and I'm going to simply slip stitch into the second chain so into the top of that beginning chain so at this point um you've got just a flat circle but as we work more rounds it's going to turn into a mitten shape so for the next four rounds as you can see for the next four rounds we're just going to work half double crochet um into each stitch around. So to start the round, I'm gonna chain two, which counts as the first half double crochet. So I'm gonna find the top two loops of the next one and work 
one half double crochet into top of that one and i'm just basically gonna keep going working one half double crochet into each stitch all the way around and the more stitches you work you're gonna notice that your flat circle is slowly closing up and turning into the mitten shape and by the time we come to the end of the round you're gonna have a pretty good idea of whereabouts we are with this uh, okay so that was number 12 and I'm going to slip stitch into the top of that beginning two chain. And as you can see, the flat circle has turned into um, a little top of the mitten now. So all we've got to do now is work three more rounds of one half double crochet in each stitch around. Close the round off and um, you will be... Um, left with something like this so this is my mitten this is one i prepared earlier um so five rounds of half double crochet and now we're going to continue with uh working the cuff so we're gonna work this cuff next okay so to work the cuff i'm gonna change to white yarn and we're going to um join it in the first stitch okay and now again you've got the two um, tail ends and I just suggest working over them as we go along okay so the cuff is basically three rounds of single crochet so I'm just gonna insert my hook catching the tail ends pull up a loop yarn over and pull through and we're gonna repeat this all the way around the base of the mitten like this okay um one into each stitch around as you can see i'm catching the tail ends on the back so they're sort of neatly tucked in so we don't have to sew them in because nobody's got time to be sewing in ends on christmas tree ornaments let's be honest <laughs> um plus they add a little bit of bulkiness to it so it will be fine okay and here we go so one single crochet into each stitch around like this and when we come to the end of the round we're simply going to slip stitch into the first single crochet like this okay um and all we're gonna do is work two more rounds of single crochet into each stitch around and then we will come to the end and we will create um this loop for hanging Okay, so I've come to the end of the third round. So we've got three rounds of single crochet in white yarn. You need to slip stitch back into the first stitch. And now we're going to create the loop that you can use to hang your ornament. Okay, so put your working yarn around your index finger. Create a loop as big as you want the loop to be. Now I'm going to go behind so that's the one that comes out of the mitten. So loop it around your finger. So I'm gonna go behind this strand and grab the one that's sort of attached to the yarn ball, um, pull it through the loop. And now I'm gonna grab the working yarn again and pull through the loop again, like this. And I'm gonna fasten off and you're gonna pull it through and kind of give it a nice tug to tighten it up 
okay and this little end you can either cheekily tuck inside like this nobody will know or you can sew it in okay so that's your little loop um for hanging the mitten onto your tree okay now the very last thing we need to do is um add the thumb onto the side okay so i'm gonna go back um to the red yarn okay so we're gonna attach the thumb onto the side of the mitten so this is where your loop is so uh, what i do i normally go onto the other side but you can use that side that's completely fine so we're going to uh, find our round number four so that's one two three four and if i turn it to the side you can see this stitch is here on the side so i'm gonna put my hook sort of around the post of the stitch and this is where we're gonna work okay so one two three four round number four and as the mitten sits nice and flat like this you want to pick it up and turn it onto the side and the stitch that's on the edge you're gonna insert your hook around the post of that stitch and attach um, your yarn around the post of that stitch okay so like this and we're going to be working around the post of the stitch right here okay so i'm going to chain two now this chain two is going to count as my first half double crochet okay um and now i need four more half double crochets to go with my chain two so i'm going to insert the hook around the post of that stitch and just work half double crochet so that's two now I've got three, four, and five. So that's five half double crochet in total. Okay. Now I'm going to drop the loop from the hook and I'm going to go back to my beginning two chain and insert my hook through the top of that beginning two chain. Then I'm going to grab the loop, put it back on my hook, and I'm going to pull it through and tighten it okay and now all i gotta do is fasten off because the thumb is finished okay there we are so all you got is these two ends to sort out but look i'll just show you how easy that is you just simply grab them with your hook and you can easily um pull them to the inside of your mitten same with the um, thumb you can actually just pull it inside and then um, you can either tie them up um, or sew them in it's totally up to you um, um, and that's it that's your little mitten finished um, you want to if you want to sort your ends out go ahead and do that um, and all you've got left to do is make a few more mittens so you've got plenty hanging on your um christmas tree so i hope you enjoyed today's video tutorial for this quick and easy make to get you into um festive spirit the full written pattern can be found on my blog uh, bluestarcrochet.com if you wanted to go and check out the written version um and yeah subscribe to my youtube channel give us a thumbs up for this video if you enjoyed it and uh, hopefully see you very soon